Animaker. Though not just your whatever device you're hearing this on, it's me, live in a stereo. No return engagements, no anchor, and this time absolutely no requests. Get a snack, settle in because I'm about to tell you the story of my life. More specifically, why my life ended. And if you're listening to this tape, you're one of the reasons why. I'm not saying which tape brings you into the story, but fear not. If you receive this lovely little box, your name will pop up. I promise. The rules here are pretty simple. There are only two. Rule number one, you listen. Number two, you pass it on. Hopefully neither one will be easy. It's not supposed to be easy, or I would have emailed you an empty train. When you're done listening to all 13 sides, because there are 13 sides to every story, rewind the tapes, put it back in the box, and pass them on to the next person. like this, people need to be accountable for their mistakes. And after something traumatic happens, it is important to focus on healing. But the thing is, how is it anybody supposed to heal? If we all do, is to cover up the wounds and hope that they'll go away. We have to look at them and recognize them for who they are. We have to be honest about who actually got hurt and how. The protest I led was an attempt to try to draw attention to the rape culture in boys' sports and throughout our school. And yes, I admit that the way I went about it wasn't perfect. I'm sorry for how it all ended up. I really am, but making mistakes is part of being a survivor. At first, you think you're like permanently broken, but then, little by little, you start peeking at the pieces and you start realizing what you're making is a mirror. The more of those pieces that you put together, the more you start to see yourself. But maybe we can start picking up those pieces of that mirror together and we can finally see the truth. If you think sexual assault doesn't affect your life, you're wrong. There are survivors all around us. People you care about, who you never knew, were suffering in silence. Let them know that you are there to listen. It's time for you to know the survivors in your life, to hear their stories, and to know that their voice matters. My name is Feli Samuels, and I am a survivor. My name is Sarah Ford and I'm a survivor. I'm Serene Martin and I'm a survivor. My name is Justin Kim and I'm a survivor. I am and I am a survivor. My name is Marilyn Kerman. And I am a survivor. I am Dario Rodriguez. And I, I am a survivor. My name is Clark Flea. And I am a survivor. To those of you who are still seated, I know a lot of you still have stories, but you're not ready to share them yet. And that's okay. When you're ready, go listen. And we will continue to fight 
to make sure that no one is assaulted, harassed, or abused in this school. We will not sit down. We will not be quiet. We will not rest until it happens.